Uh, before I do start, I just point out, see, after 2006, Yamaha put a third bush in, in these forks. And we have one on the tube, one up here. Uh, Yamaha had a third one, it's down here. Um, I put a video up, I'll see, the tool we made. I've called it the FJR Forker tool, or the Forkomatic Bush Basher. Um, just went to have a go at installing one, and we had a bit of a problem. This is why I just said to everyone, this is a note. When you're ordering the spare bits, make sure they are. Even though the supplier is telling me these are the correct bits, I'm in massive, massive doubts that they are. Um, these are supposedly the middle ones, when actually they look like that. Now, most people might say, oh, that's Teflon worn, this and that. This is, you know, what's that? But there's actually a difference. This one. Hello, Merlin. Being told off. One second. Food doesn't like rain. Mr. Phil, go on. Here we go. Right, as I was saying, 51 millimeters diameter is what the middle bush should be. And I believe it has a height of 15, whereas the upper bush has a height of 12 and an outer diameter of 52. This one, which he claims is the middle bush, I'm not going to note supplier. I ain't going into that. I'm just going to deal with it myself and sort it all out that way. But basically, if you can actually see it. That millimetre difference makes a huge amount because obviously putting it down here there's a little recess for the top one, a little recess for the middle one. And obviously if it's too big, as I've just learned, you can see by the scores on it possibly, I tried to install this in there in the middle bush, use my tool, and it was not going in. I was wondering why it got down to about there and then stopped, and no matter how hard I hit, it won't go in. So I was wondering what the hell's going on. Um, essentially I just had to question it so I had to pull the whole thing apart well before I did that I tried it on the other fork and we got tried again and actually got the proper middle bush in as we can clearly see it's different so this, di this one mil diameter makes a massive difference so these are clearly the wrong ones even though they say they are it's clearly the wrong ones so just make sure you get the right ones um, and obviously this is the proper one and this is how it should happen because before it didn't um, basically it went all the way down there got stuck, I had to pull the whole fork apart again this I'm left and pull it all apart again to get that out, thankfully that one did come out of this one I didn't have to lever it out like the previous ones came out of so it wasn't too bad um, but what like when, when I was wondering why this weren't going in, I think, well basically I took the old one, I was like right okay then so why isn't it, I was like this one didn't have a tough fit, so this is the new one, I try it with the old one it just slots straight in, whereas this one it kind of gets jabbed at the top, so that's a good way of telling if it is the correct one it should just drop straight in a little bit of the way and then you just tap it the rest of the way, whereas this it got there stopped, so it's the best way to do it. So here's a nice video of the actual installation working this time. So all we do, double of bit of oil around the whole thing like that. Just like that. Just a smear around the thing. Okay. And we're gonna fit it. Pop it down it goes. Okay. And you should be able to just wiggle it in. As you can see there. Oh, we go, we go. And then if the light can catch it, it's already pretty much going in. Oh, there we go. It's just fell in. Not all the way in, it's not all the way in, but it's just gone in. These ones that are true, apparently the middle bushings got there, and yeah. So this is proper. And we'll see installation of the tool. Black piece of tube, 50 millimeter diameter. We've cut it in half. About 90 mil from the top. Bit of a tape job, but it's close enough, you'll feel it when it goes in. And what we're going to do is slap it over the top. 
whatever the exact diameter pipe for this is, I just don't know because I've searched and searched. This is the closest I can get. So basically, yeah, slide it over, bring it down, down it goes. There you go. And from there, drift mallet, and you are just looking at basically seeing this go down there. So, we're going to do that now. that's pretty much just gone in two more wax three wax to be safe once it's seated you can't really go overdo it but there we go that's how it should have gone in whereas these they I'm just glad they didn't come out of was I would have been having huge, huge words with the supplier because it would have buggered my tubes. But thankfully I got it out and I can still... I'm not the one that's in the loose at the minute, but yeah, but as you can see, that's pretty much... It's more accurate here, I can't also went off, but as you see, it's pretty much lined up with that, flush with that, and that's the middle brush installed. Yeah. All I can say to anyone is if they are doing a pair of Yamaha FGR forks beyond 2006 I mean even from my point of view I was half tempted to just take them to a mech now to you know to a workshop because forks shouldn't be this difficult it shouldn't be this difficult they should be really simple they usually are simple and these have been anything but but you're in now, and we've just got to get the top bush in, which it's, I'm not going to say it, I don't want to jinx myself, it should be a little bit easier, but there we go. Well, it's raining now, I'll show you what I need to show. But yeah, just make sure you get the right bits when you're installing these. I'm out.